November 28th, Regan's Bucerus Council City, Bucerus City Council meeting. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Here. 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 Granted permission for visitors to speak, Mr. White requested five minutes. All right, White, 11.5 Hillcrest Drive. Thank you, Madam President. First of all, the First Amendment of the United States Constitution guarantees freedom to every citizen that our forefathers wrote in the Constitution. These are the freedoms of speech, the press, the right of people to peacefully assemble and to petition government for redress of grievances. Yesterday, while I was at the Ohio Supreme Court Justice Center in Columbus for a public hearing, I saw these words in the marble of the building. Education, morality, constitutes the force of majesty of free government. So what's happened to the rights of the citizens for open and fair meetings? We live in a free society, not a dictatorship. Rule. The Planning Commission meeting was an example of dictatorship. Do as I say or else. Comments by the mayor that he does not want park benches in the historical downtown area. They belong in a park. Well, what about these ugly trash bins that have been sitting around for months in our city streets? No markings, cones, or barricades. No, oh, yes, they were issued an event permit for them. An event is like a car show, a festival, or night national night out, which is only a few days, not months. So what about these picnic tables in the front of City Hall? Don't they belong in the park? After Another thing is, after filing two public records requests for information on the Pearl Street project and received two letters back, I have been, not been denied these records. Still, why? Why are you hiding something about this project? This project didn't benefit any resident that lives back that street. I believe it only benefited one business next to the area of this street. Now, let's talk about Tuesday night's tree meeting, Mr. Mayor. Yes, recording of any meeting is allowed under the law. Your hateful comments toward me were despicable and rep repulsive. What, quote, He's recording. Yes, I know. I'm not going to put up with this BS. What did, what's the deal with you? What's the deal with you? I thought you were going to crawl back under your rock. Is it not going to happen? If you would have stayed for the meeting, it went fine. John even asked me for some comments. I gave them some good ideas and comments on improving funding for trees, the Buckeye Grove project at the park and some social media information to improve communications with the public. Mr. Mayor, I feel you owe me a public apology for your hateful remarks. Al Pacino said in a movie, The Sin of a Woman, I'm just getting warmed up, and I'm not finished yet. In closing, citizens of Besiris, I encourage you to come to meetings, record them for documentations of their actions. Make sure they, they post the meet, meetings online and you attend. I feel that all meetings that represent, represent the city, spend city monies appointed by the mayor or council to any business with the, businesses with the city of Besar should be recorded and put on the city's website for trans, transparency of our government. Thank you, Madam President. Any other public participation? Vicki Deshawn, 1108 Hillcrest Drive. 
At the October 19th, 2023 Finance Committee meeting, motions were approved requesting emergency legislation to repeal and emergency legislation to replace Ordinance Number 36-2023 presented by Auditor Lewis as a transfer instead of a reimbursement. At the November 8, 2023 Council meeting, Ordinance Number 44-2023 was presented for the repealing. I asked when legislation was going to be prepared for the replacing. Attorney Gernert stated there would be a significant number of reimbursements and it was decided to do all of them in one piece of legislation towards the end of the year. I then stated that the repealing ordinance should be passed as a non-emergency instead of an emergency. After discussion, Council passed the legislation as prepared. After the meeting, Attorney Gernert reminded me that legislation passed as a non-emergency does not become law until 30 days after its passage. I informed Attorney Gernert that he was absolutely correct. And since ordinance number 44-2023 needed to become law before the passage of the replacement ordinance, it was necessary to pass it as an emergency. I informed Attorney Gernert that I would announce at the next council meeting that I had misspoke on the matter, so I stand before you tonight acknowledging same. Subsequently, at the November 9th, 2023 Finance Committee meeting, Auditor Lewis stated that former Auditor Schiffer informed her that as long as money being moved from one fund to another fund is in the transfers line, and specifically for that reason, it does not require replacement legislation. So, Ordinance Number 44-2023 did not need to be passed as an emergency. Thank you. Anybody else? If I go over three minutes, that'd be a compliment because I'm not good at public speaking. So, uh, as you know, Bucyrus is a small town. James, okay. James Me, 873 West Perry Street. Uh, I had actually read that the expansion of Eagle Crusher, which is awesome. I think everybody will agree with that. Uh, if we, it's a small town, if we know somebody that knows somebody, we know everybody. So I got in contact with Eagle Crusher. And my questions were to this person that I won't divulge. Is the Crawford County Partnership uh, instrumental in Eagle Crusher's expansion plans? Uh, the second question I asked, did they help in any way? Their response was, the growth that we have done so far, they have not been involved in. However, at the, we're at a crossroads where nearing capacity at this location. We have a lot of decisions to make in the next year. So she said she met with, uh, not mentioning any names, Car Crawford County Partnership, and that was two months ago, and they haven't heard anything from them since. I guess this would be my problem because any grants that would be gotten through the partnership would increase the expansion of the plant. That's going to uh, give more tax revenue. It's going to build more houses, uh, more water sales, and you know, somebody that's willing to invest in this community, I just feel my opinion is the partnership should have been there. Contact them every two weeks, let them know what's going on. But I think they should be more proactive, I guess is what I'm saying. So that's my problem with the partnership. Madam President, can I respond? Please. Did you, did you happen to reach out to the partnership to ask them their side of the story? If that's <clears throat> before coming here and saying these things about the partnership? Did you ask this them? This is just emails that I have got from them. This is just okay. one-sided okay. on them. It's one-sided, okay. Yes, absolutely. Just wanted to, just wanted to make sure. Okay. That's it. Thank you. Did I go over three minutes? Nope, you were under. <coughs> Do you want me to let it run? Would you? <laughs> Anybody else? Standing committee reports, platting. I have nothing at this time. Public lands and buildings. 
Uh, Health and safety? No report. Finance? No report. Economic development? Nothing to report. Service? No report this time. Traffic commission? No report. Thank you. Report of city officers, Mr. Mayor. Uh, I have a report. Miranda, do you have Jeff's report? Yes. Okay. I'll have you read that then, too. Uh, I, well, my report is I hope uh, you all had an enjoyable Thanksgiving. Um, the rest of the year seems to blow by, as we all know that. Um, one of the hallmarks of the spirit of our Christmas season is generosity. So a couple of weeks ago, the uh, Salvation Army came into City Hall. Some of you were there. Kick off of the kick, the second anniversary kickoff of the kettle campaign. The decorated kettles were uh, beautiful, and uh, as you go into these uh, area businesses, you'll see uh, how nice they are. We ask you to be generous. They help hundreds of families that are in need every year, and all through the year. Of course, there's so many other people raising money. So, uh, which brings me to the next thing. Today is Giving Tuesday. You still have time to give, and. Uh, uh, on my report, it, I, I did include the logo right there. So if you get on their foundation uh, website, which is cfcrawford.org, you can find some links into Giving Tuesday. And uh, I met with uh, Lisa Workman from the foundation, Crawford County Foundation, and uh, we talked about uh, the possibility of establishing a, a fund similar to our own um, Philbin Trust. Uh, this will be local and it's, it's for uh, the upkeep in the parks, new equipment, those things. So um, there's, we live in a very generous community. Uh, the people that uh, uh, that have some, maybe have some funds that uh, as they come al uh, along closer to um, their golden years, possibly may want to put some uh, legacy money in there. So I'd like to s propose that idea that we, we start that fund. Um, current tax revenue, as you all know, doesn't cover that stuff. When we have uh, repairs at the park, it's something we have to borrow money for. Um, the cost of a new pool um, recently, a similar size town, was $3 million. So, And we, uh, we did put $300,000 into it a few years ago, but eventually we will need a new pool. So. It's time now to be proactive on that. And finally, I, I have something to propose. I would like to propose the, um, the two street names be changed. Um, in my neighborhood, Plum Street is a short street with no residents on it. Um, and uh, not that many years ago, it was just a farm lane that was off to, to uh, city residents. Well, it was opened up and it was named Plum Street back in the probably late 60s, early 70s. And, but it is the uh, home street of uh, former Mayor Roger Moore, who died while in office right after a city council meeting. I would like to uh, propose that we rename Plum Street in his honor. Uh, he did so much for this community, uh, both as mayor and the city council president, council member, with Relay for Life. And uh, um, I'd like to propose that Plum Street be named Moore Street in his honor. And also, Bucyrus is unique. Um, we have two Medal of Honor winners that are called Bucyrus Home. And if you go down to the State House and you look up the Medal of Honor winners to Ohio and you put Bucyrus there, you'll see the names of Harry Martin, which we all know, and the other name, which may not, may not know as much um, as well, his name is Cyrus Sears from the Sears family. And many of you knew the Sears family. And that was from the Civil War. Um, I don't know if any other, any two cities our size can, can uh, boast of having two uh, war heroes of this statue who were awarded um, or with the honor of the Medal of Honor. So I'm, what I'm proposing is that All Miller Park Drive, as the park starts, not changing the name of the drive, but just as the park starts, the loop inside the park, we would change that to Medal of Honor Way in honor of uh, Cyrus Sears and Harry Martin, their heroism. And uh, we would have a permanent sign made similar to what we have down at Shines Art Park with their stories right there as in the park, as part of the park. So, um, which would detail their, both their pictures and their heroism. So I'd like you to consider that. Um, Mr. Grinnert probably will s tell about how that 
could come about if, uh, if as a body we are interested in doing that. I'd like you to seriously consider that. And that's all I have for tonight. Thank you, Madam President. Thank you. Safety service report. The safety service director um, report stated November 28th, 2023. Jeff would like to refer the 330 East Waterline project to service and finance. He would also like to refer these TAP grant projects, the Nevada Road, Stetzer Road, Parcher Road and Crestline Road waterline taps to service and finance. He would also like to refer Sulphur Springs and Locust, Locust Grove waterline project to service and finance. And finally, he would like to refer the, the design loan for the Morton and Lair package plants to service and finance. Um, City Hall will be closed Monday, December 25th and Monday, January 1st. Trash pickup for Monday, December 25th will be Tuesday, December 26th. Please have your trash out by 7 a.m. Trash pickup for Monday, January 1st will be on, on Tuesday, January 2nd. Please have your trash out by 7 a.m. Santa is coming to town December 7th. The parade and candlelight Christmas will start at 6 p.m. That's all he had. Thank you. Ms. Lewis? November has been a busy month in the auditor's office. There have been a lot of late nights and worked weekends, but I think we did it. Before the long Thanksgiving weekend, both the current council and incoming council were sent budget worksheets for the 2024 budget. There are a few lines that need adjusted due to a couple lines that were spoken of in the finance meeting, those few things that were cut from the general fund. Um, they were not properly imported into the Excel spreadsheet. They will be corrected in the legislation. If you have found any issues or have any questions, please don't hesitate to bring it to my attention. I want to thank Joyce Schiffer, Jeff Wagner, the department heads, chiefs, and finance committee for being patient with the process. You're good people. Without further ado, I would like to refer all as emergencies to finance committee, the 2024 budget to Finance Committee Appropriations to Salary Lines, to Finance Committee Transfer from General Fund Fire Salary to Safety Forces Fund Fire Salary. Thank you. Um, question, Mr. Mayor. Yes. Do you know if any of the referrals from the Safety Service Director to be done as emergencies? What are they again? Um, the water East Street water, water Project, the TAP Grant, the Sulphur Spring Locust Grove Water. Uh, he's coming on, uh, not to take off, but he's, he's coming, coming Thursday. Thursday. Oh, well, then never mind. Yeah, then sure. we're good. Yeah. Okay. All right. Mr. Garner. He told me he was coming. Okay. Do you have a report? I do. Um, so, first on Mr. Reeser, Mayor Reeser's street thing, uh, that would need a referral to planning. I don't know if that's on your list or not. Um, I have there was something of our city street. Yeah, not two. Yeah. Not two. Um, so renaming city so. streets would be referred. We're good. Yeah. Um, and then, so I believe tonight there's an executive session to discuss the uh, fire or police department salaries and union contract. Um, commiserate with that, I would like to refer the police chief salary to the finance committee. The police chief salary pursuant to our current manpower ordinance and billet is tied to the union contract. Uh, thus, it's currently capped at the 2023 rate, which the prior contract ends in 2023 with a reopener in 24. Uh, so in order to clean up the Manpower Act and the billet, uh, I would like to refer the police chief salary to the Finance Committee. Uh, and that's the same thing that we do pursuant to the Manpower Act with the fire chief and the police chief are tied to the local unions. Uh, so just for discussions of that. Um, and then um, Ms. Deshaun had brought up previously Gordon Grove. So I reached out to Gordon and talked to him about um, specifically what he was thinking when we would talk about um, streamlining the property maintenance um, issues. And his basic thing uh, would be uh, to revise the property maintenance code to allow for criminal uh, prosecutions um, for repeat offenders without having to go through the notice uh, so currently we have to give you a notice and then you have an opportunity to cure your um, property maintenance violation and then we go out and reinspect. and after several steps in the process then we are capable of um, filing in uh, municipal court um, 
he spends a significant amount of time on a few individuals where he will file the uh, notice. These people uh, may come into compliance only shortly thereafter to have the same issue pop up. And so his thought was if you have a same, same person or same house with a repeat offense of the same variety, rather than him having to continue to issue the same notice, go do reinspections um, after a three strike policy or something that council would approve, uh, allowing uh, repeat offenders to be uh, skip the notice process and go directly uh, to the municipal court where there's a little bit more authority and a little bit more um, sanctions that can be imposed. Um, so I would refer that to the Health and Safety Committee or ask for a referral to the Health and Safety Committee uh, just to dis discuss those and I'll talk to Gordon to have him hopefully be here on Thursday if he's able. I laid him off at the beginning of, well he kind of laid himself off at the beginning okay. of November. It was a mutual decision. <laughs> That was what we were discussing. <laughs> and I did make notes for you. Okay. All right. Anything else? That's it. That's okay. all I have to say. Thank you, Madam President. Mm -hmm. And you have before you the treasurer's report. May I have a motion to accept and file? So moved. Second. I have a motion by Ms. Sherrick, a second by Mr. Potter. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. All right. We don't have anything from the chief and the fire. We have a motion to accept city officer's reports as presented. So moved. Second. We have a motion by Mr. Myers, a second by <coughs> Mr. McKeever. All those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? <coughs> motion carries. Yep. Yeah. For the referrals. Yeah. All right. We have. Do you want to do them individually or collectively? Oh. Can we do them collectively? I'd love to do them collectively. All right. So we have the 2024 budget to finance as an emergency appropriations to salary lines. Salary lines to finance as emergency, transfer of funds to finance as emergency, the 330 East Waterline project to service and finance, TAP grant projects to service and finance, Sulphur Springs and Locust Grove <coughs> Waterline project to service and finance, design for the Morton Lindlayer package plants to service and finance, the renaming of city streets to platting, the police chief salary to finance, and the change in policy for repeat violations to health and safety. Madam President, I would like to make a motion to re approve all those referrals collectively as you just presented them. I have a motion by Mr. McKeever, a second by Mr. Ma I'm sorry. I have a motion by Mr. Myers, a second by Mr. McKeever. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you very much. I think um, the mayor presented an idea of establishing a city park fund at the foundation, which I suppose <coughs> would need a referral to finance. Finance. Finance and maybe public maybe. lands and building. Well. Yeah. Finance and public is, buildings. Is that us at all? Because he was suggesting that someone create it at the Bowen Community yeah, Foundation, the foundation and have people donate there, which isn't really. It's still our fund, they just manage it. He would set the standards. Yeah. What would be useful? Rules and guidelines. Yeah, I suppose it would be best to make sense of. I get what you're saying. I just didn't see where we're going to finance that money. Because of the money side of it. Uh, Park Legacy Fund, is that what you want to call it? All right, may I have a motion to refer? The rules and guidelines to establish a park legacy fund to not finance planning. If it's just the Planning. rules, I would suggest to the public lands and buildings. Public lands and buildings. Sure. I'll make a motion. I'll second. I have a motion by Mr. McKeever, a second by Mr. Spiegel. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? <coughs> motion carries. Thank you for catching that, Mr. Gurna. <coughs> Do 
Any visitors input on the standing or special committees and city officer reports? Seeing none, consideration of proposed legislation being read for the first time. Proposed ordinance 45-2023, it's the appropriations ordinance for council and the fire department. Amending and supplementing ordinance number 66-2022 being the annual appropriations ordinance for 2023 by appropriating from unappropriated general funds the sum of $106,000 to the transfers line item within the fire department category within the program one security of persons and property, property subparagraph. And finally, appropriating from unappropriated general funds the sum of $2,000 to the contractual services line item within the council category within program seven, general government subparagraph and declaring an emergency. I have a motion to accept this as a first reading. Second. I have a motion by Mr. McKeever, a second by Mr. Myers. All those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. Granting permission for visitors to speak on legislation that's read for the first time. Referring back to originating committee proposed ordinance 45 2023 is referred back to finance. Uh, finance is favorable to the appropriations of uh, proposed ordinance 45 2023. Further consideration of pending legislation ordinance number 45 2023 appropriations. For the second and third readings of proposed ordinance 45 2023, do I hear a motion to suspend the rules, waive the readings of the caption and text, and declare an emergency? So Second. I have a motion by where you at? Sherrick. Ms. Sherrick, yeah. and a second by Mr. Young. Sherrick? Yes. Young? Yes. McKeever? Yes. Myers? Yes. Wireball? Yes. Potter? Yes. Spiegel? Yes. Do I hear a motion to adopt proposed ordinance 45 2023? Second. I have a motion by Ms. Sherrick, a second by Mr. Spiegel. Or was that Mr. Young again? Mr. Yes. Spiegel, thank you. Sherrick? Yes. Spiegel? Yes. Young? Yes. McKeever? Yes. Myers? Yes. Wireball? Yes. Potter? Yes. Ordinance 45-2023 is duly adopted. I need a motion to go into executive session to prepare for and review the collective bargaining strategy as it pertains to the local officers union per the Ohio Revised Code section 121.11G4. So moved. Second. I have a motion by Mr. Myers, a second by no. Mr. No. 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 Mr. No. Young. No. Roll call. McKeever? Yes. Myers? Yes. Wireball? Yes. Potter? Yes. Sherrick? Yes. Spiegel? Yes. Young? Yes. We are in executive session at 728. May I have a motion to come out of executive session? So, uh, second. I have a motion by Mr. McKeever, a second by Mr. Myers. All those, I'm sorry, roll call. McKeever? Yes. Myers? Yes. Wireball? Yes. Potter? Yes. Sherrick? Yes. Spiegel? Yes. Young? Yes. We are out of executive session at 7.38. Madam President? Yes, sir. I'd like to make a referral to send the uh, contract to the Finance Committee, the Police Union contract to the Finance Committee. I'll second that. I have a motion by Mr. Myers, a second by Mr. McKeever. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Do we have any old or unfinished business? Any new or miscellaneous business? Yes, Madam President. Uh, I've been approached by several people who operate larger vehicles, uh, commercial vehicles that have trouble getting down Rogers Street. So I already talked to uh, Mr. Wagner I'd like to make a referral to have uh, the parking on Roger Street referred to Traffic Commission for at their next meeting. Do I have a second? So moved. I have a motion by Mr. McKeever, a second by Mr. Spiegel to refer Roger Street parking to the Traffic Commission. All those in favor? 
Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Anybody else? Um, just regarding next week's meeting with the Santa Fe being on Thursday, um, that's the same day we have committees, basically about the same time. So do you want to have the committee meetings following directly the council? It's already, it's already been announced. Okay. Already been announced. Okay. All right. So yes, we do. <laughs> All, right. All right. It's been requested by all of the committees to have them. But okay. I think you moved the regularly scheduled council six, meeting as well. Six, six o'clock. Somebody said they couldn't be here till six fifteen, didn't they? That was me, but I can adjust. I, I'll make it work. Okay. Okay. All right. So we are six p.m. for the regular council meeting, with committees following immediately <coughs> for next Tuesday. Yes. Everybody should come Thursday downtown for candlelight Christmas. Yes, candlelight Christmas, Thursday. And the parade. And, and the parade. parade. All right, we don't have anybody missing. So referrals we have the 2024 budget to finance as an emergency, appropriations to salary lines to finance for, as an emergency, transfer of funds to finance as an emergency, 330 East Waterline Project to service and finance, TAP grants, projects to service and finance, Sulphur Springs and Locust Grove Waterline to service and finance, design for the uh, Lynn Lair Morton package plant to service and finance, renaming of streets to platting, police chief salary to finance, change in policy for repeat violations to health and safety, police union contract to finance, and the Rogers Street parking to traffic commission. Are there any other referrals? I would entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. second. I have a motion by Mr. McKeever, a second by Mr. Potter. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. We are adjourned at 742.